We are looking at IntelliDEX's top private banks and wealth managers survey and coming out on top of that survey, the top wealth manager in South Africa, the Sunlum Private uh, Wealth Organisation. And with us from the Cape Town studio is the CEO, Daniel Creel. Daniel, good evening to you. I just had Wayne McCurry in the studio with me and he was saying he's been in the asset management business all his life and he said when it's good, it's very good yeah. and it's wonderful and warm in the sun and when it's bad, the market punishes you. Uh, now, you're not in quite the position of being a listed company to be punished, but uh, the sun is shining. What did you do to win this award? Good evening, David. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having us. Uh, I listened to, uh, to Wayne McCurry, and I've known him for many years, and, and uh, he is indeed very correct with regards to our industry. And it's not only limited to the asset management industry, but it's also true for the, for the private client uh, industry, which, which I uh, represent at, at Sun and Private Wealth. I think the, if you look at the award itself, um, the award is really a testimony to, to the people in our business and the focus that, that our people has had on, uh, on our client base uh, over the last years. We have implemented the strategy some 10 years ago of really being client-centric and, and delivering to our clients uh, tailor-made solutions. Yeah, Daniel, could I, could I interrupt you there? Um, everyone says yeah, sure. everyone says they're client centric. So, what if, what are you doing differently? Yeah, I think what we're doing differently is that 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 we when we when we talk to our clients, we we try and build relationships with our clients, and those relationships are long term relationships. Clients are, I think, if I look at at, at our portfolio managers, of which we have fifty all over the country. They have very close and intimate relationships with their, with their clients, where they actually, where clients trust them fully, not only, sometimes not only with, uh, with regards to their investments, but also personal matters. So we build up relationships over the long term, over a long period, and we believe it's these close relationships that we have developed with our clients, which, uh, which enables you to deliver the long-term results for your clients. And in many, in many cases, these relationships uh, spans generations. Looking at uh, the, the way investment is done on behalf of people, uh, I mean, it sounds like you have an individual solution for, for everyone. How do you get the mix uh, in your portfolio management uh, ranks? Uh, because you've got to hire the right people, you've got to keep the right people. Do you have anything to, to uh, illuminate the success from the point of view of the people that work for you? David, you're touching on a very important uh, factor there, and that is uh, the people. And I strongly believe that the success that we've had at Sunlam Private Wealth is due to the people that we have employed and the team that we've built up over the years. You know, if I look at our mix of people, we've got people in our business that's been in the industry for, for decades. Uh, we, for instance, we don't retire people, uh, sometimes to the frustration of the Sunlam Retirement Fund. But uh, the people that we employ are people that are passionate about the markets and people that are passionate about their clients. So the mix in our business is uh, a healthy mix of older, well-experienced people uh, together with young, bright stars with twinkle in their eyes that want to do something, want to get somewhere, that are passionate about the markets. But, but they are, uh, these people are all, they share a common value system and that is what is important for us. And, and and the other reason for our success over the last number of years is not only the client-centric uh, approach that we have followed, but also that we've built a values-based business. Um, and then I think another factor which is important in our industry is, is diversity of people. Yeah. Because good investment decisions are made when people debate investment issues, when they debate which shares are going to be bought and sold, and uh, where they differ. So a robust process is very important uh, uh, in any successful investment. Haven't business. you also got to be careful? You've got to keep a balance between, uh, on the one hand, uh, having robust debate. On the other hand, you've got to have a common kind of thread. So you don't want any one voice to be too strong, but you do want strong voices, if I can put it like that. You do want strong voices, but at the end of the day, it's your chief investment officer that takes responsibility for the investment process and the outcomes that that delivers. So uh, I believe that whilst uh, the best investment decisions are taken through a, a joint approach uh, where, where these issues are debated and discussed at length, at the end of the day, a decision has to be taken. Many poor investment decisions has also been as a result of the lack of decision making. 
and uh, the chief investment officer takes responsibility for the process and the outcome of that process and and some way somebody's got to take a decision and if that's necessary we have in uh, in our chief investment officer Alvin van der where we have somebody that could take the decisions uh, in consultation with uh, with the talent that we've got in the business but the end of the day is responsible the buck stops with him that is uh, daniel creel he's sunlam private wealth ceo they are the winners in intellidex's top private banks and wealth managers survey in 2015 congratulations daniel and thanks for joining us